Hello again and welcome back to the Fatfish Guitar Studio for another Scale of the Week. This time around we're going to be taking a look at the major pentatonic scale. Now if you've been playing guitar for any length of time, you've been looking at different scales, chances are you come across the minor pentatonic. Uh, that's a scale that gets used in all sorts of different styles of music and it's very common, to almost I think, at the stage where someone talks about the pentatonic scale without qualifying if they mean major or minor, they probably mean the minor pentatonic because it's just so common. But that scale does have a, a major cousin, and it's the major pentatonic, which is the scale we're going to be looking at now. So what have we got? Well, it's a five note scale, obviously, pent means five. And the major pentatonic scale has the formula one, two, three, five, six, and the octave. Okay, so let's have a look in Fatfish and see what that scale looks like on fingerboard. So here we're having a look at C major pentatonic and let's take some of those notes out of the picture and just look at a usable scale box that we can move around the neck. So here's a scale box for C major pentatonic and it's a movable box so if we take it down a few frets, uh, look at where that root note is, it's now on an A, so that's an A major pentatonic. Um, move it up a little bit, root notes now, now on a B, so that's a B major pentatonic. But as I always say, don't get too locked into the idea of scale boxes. They're useful as a starting point, getting familiar with the scale and the way it sounds, but remember those notes occur several different places on the fingerboard, so explore the whole of the, the, whole of the neck when you're playing these scales. Now the major pentatonic's got a few things in common with the minor pentatonic. Uh, which I've done as a scale of the week before, so if you want to go back and have a look at that, I'll put a link in the information section down there. Um, most importantly, the major pentatonic acts as like a skeleton for the major modes. So if you think about it in a major scale, you've got three major modes. You've got the one mode, the Ionian, you've got the four mode, the Lydian, and the five mode, the Mixolydian. Go back to Fatfish now, and let's have a look at the way that the major pentatonic relates to these major modes. So let's start off with C Ionian mode, the one mode of the major scale. And here we've got C Ionian. And what we're going to do is take a couple of notes out and that gives us C major pentatonic. Now let's put a, no a couple of notes back in, some different notes. And what we've got here is the C Lydian mode. Take those Lydian specific notes out, back to the major pentatonic, add a couple of other notes in, a C mixolydian. So as you can see the major pentatonic contains the notes which are common across the three major modes. This is something you can exploit when you're playing lead lines, particularly over um, key changes. Think about this example. If you've got a piece of music starts in the key of F major and then moves over and modulates to the key of C major. Now let's say that the modulation happens over a C major chord. At the start of the piece, that C major chord is functioning like the five chord of the key of F major, and you'd expect to play over the top of that with C mixolydian mode. In the second part of the piece, after you modulate it to C major, that technically is functioning as a one chord, and you expect to play over the top of it using the C Ionian mode. So during that transition, what mode do you use? Do you use the C mixolydian because of the first key that you're playing in, or do you use C Ionian because of the second key that you're playing in? What you can do, if you know about the major pentatonic, it contains notes that are common to both the mixolydian and the Ionian. So over that C major chord, the one that's common between the key of F major and C major, if you just play using C major pentatonic, you're kind of at the same time being a mixolydian type of scale and an Ionian type of scale. It helps you to smooth your way through, the, through those chord changes. And in case you were wondering, yes, there is a relationship between the major pentatonic and the minor pentatonic in the same way that there's a relationship between the major scale and the natural minor scale. If you take the major pentatonic and go through to the sixth degree, one, two, three, five, six, and play the same notes starting from that, uh, from that note, you get the minor pentatonic. So, the minor pentatonic starting on the sixth degree of the major pentatonic, it's the relative, uh, like the relative, the relative minor. Okay, so that's that. If you haven't come across the major pentatonic scale before, uh, take a bit of time to get uh, familiar with it, the way it sounds, and uh, 
where the nuts of the, the, the scale are on the neck. It's a very useful uh, scale to have in your vocabulary. As I said, possibly doesn't get as much exposure as the minor pentatonic, but that doesn't mean it's any less useful. Um, don't forget you've got Fatfish to help you find your way around the neck. If you haven't got a copy of it already, you can download it from here. And also on the Fatfish website, there's a whole bunch of other stuff, um, a few other things you can download, and some online music lessons, which may help you along your way with some scale theory, chord theory, and all sorts of other bits and bobs. If you're subscribed on the YouTube channel, thanks very much for your subscription. If not, please click on the subscribe link down there, and uh, hopefully I'll see you in another video sometime soon. Bye for now.